class seven. This is a English language class, and today you are going to be with me, teacher Tim, on a Teta channel. I am happy to welcome you to learn about expressing direction. So our main topic is going to be expressing direction and we will focus on the subtopic which is using prepositions. Ah, let me ask you, have you directed somebody using prepositions? I don't know, maybe. Which preposition did you use? Oh, you are welcome. Today we are going to see. Let us get the meaning of the word direction. Look here. Direction means uh, direction is the general, the general position a person or a thing moves. Uh, look at this picture. Let's say someone want to reach in this point or this point or this point and she or he doesn't know where to pass so when you are trying to help him or her to go to this point you have to tell him or her go follow this the main road and when you reach at the turning you have to turn right to reach at this point Giving that expression means that you direct somebody to reach a certain position or a certain place. Direction can be expressed in three ways. The first one is by using preposition. The second one is cardinal points or using right and left. Let's start by using preposition, which is our subtopic today. In directing somebody, you can use preposition like across, or along, or around, or up, or down, okay? Let's start by using the preposition across. When you, you use the word across, first, it means walking from one side to another side. Like you are walking, let's say you are walking on the road, you want to cross the road, you have to move to another side, from this side to another side. For example, we have there, see these people, they are running across the road. This is the main road. The road is going like this, from this end to this end. But they are coming from this side to this side. So this means across. So they run across the road. You get me? Thank you. Um, another preposition is along. Can you pronounce it? Along. Class say along. Along means moving or going from one end to or towards the other end of something like a road, a river, or not only that, also you can you can go along the class or along the school. Okay? Let's see the example. Look here. This guy is walking along the road. So you see, this is the road, and he is walking from this end to that end. I hope you get me. Let's go to another preposition, which is up. Up. Up means to go in a higher position or place. For example, you can go up a hill. Do you know a hill? A hill that is small, that looks like a mountain, but it's small. So up the hill, up the mountain, or it can be up the tree. Uh, for example, look at this mother. She is climbing up the tree. 
and that is a coconut tree. I don't know, maybe you have it in your home. You can try to climb up the tree. Another example is this one. The girl climbed up the tree. She is already on the trees. Okay, let's move to another preposition. Another preposition that we are going to learn today is down. The ready? Down. Class pronounce down. Down. The word down means going to or at a lower place or position. So I can say going down means or it is an opposite of the word up. Let's go directly to the example. Look at this example here. Can you see the girl? Can you say where is she? She is under the tree. So the girl fell down the tree. She is already under the tree. So she fell under the tree. She comes from this direction, up direction, to down direction. That marked the end of our class today, but you are going to have this exercise. You have to use the four prepositions that you learn to fill in the blanks in the exercise. Can you do it please in five minutes? I hope you are done with your exercise and now we are going to check the answers. You can mark yourself on your exercise. Our answers are there. Make sure that you read the sentence correctly and you mark the correct answer. And where you did it wrong, you have to do correction. Thank you very much for watching Eteta channel and don't forget to invite your neighbors to subscribe in this channel. Be blessed.